the Israelites. We are here to show our people that we greater than we think we are, all right? In slavery, all that's been taken away from us. You understand? So you understand how people went into captivity, right? On slave ships because we broke God's commandments, right? You, don't, you understand that prophecy don't identify with anybody else but our people, right? At the same time, the Indians, the Native American Indians, they was getting taken over to Spain on slave cargo ships by Christopher Columbus, right? All right, now, give me Deuteronomy chapter 10 real quick. All right, because with the identity or, or knowing your nationality as an Israelite, right, there's requirements, right? When you you got a job, okay, there's they, they do what what they do? They, they take you through um, orientation. orientation, right, yeah. to show you the requirements of that job, right? They give you clothes, all right. They give you all kind of rules and regulations, right? Same thing with God. Read this, Deuteronomy chapter ten, verse twelve. And now Israel, now you know that you are Israelite. We got a lot of information that we can prove to you with the Bible to show you that you're an Israelite. You understand? But we got, we pressed the time. You got somewhere to go. We got places to be and things to do. You understand what I'm saying? Read that from the top. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So the God of heaven and earth, far, far, requires something from you. All right? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. We got to fear God. Read. To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So guess what? We got to keep the commandments of God. One of the commandments of God is, give me Proverbs real, real quick, 3 and thir um, 31. One of the uh, commandments of God is not to observe what the other nations observe. You understand that? Because Memorial Day has nothing to do with our people. We see our people, we're in the midst of sin right now. You understand? Watch this, read. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. So the Bible says, envy thou not the oppressor. Who's the oppressor, Vaughn? Who's the oppressor? Who oppressed us? White people, right? White people oppressed us. The Bible says, do what? Envy thou not the oppressor. The Bible says, don't try to be like them. You understand that? Read. And choose none of his ways. So we got to come out of the ways of America. You got 4th of July coming up. That's the ways of America. Christmas, all right? Our people are uh, cooking pork on Memorial Day. We're not supposed to eat pork. That's the ways of the heathen. You understand? Now, I know you're a young man. You're about in your 20s, right? All right. So you're wondering, like, okay, what's the, what's the reward of this? Give me uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18, verse, I think it's verse 7. You understand? Because what you're seeing is the kingdom of God rising up on earth. You greater than what you think you are. All our people greater than, we the best on the earth. You understand? We already dominate all the sports. You understand what I'm saying? We, we invented the street light. We invented air conditioning. You know what I'm saying? We invented the diesel engine for the train and all that. You know what I'm saying? We the brightest people on earth, but we have oppression amongst us. Understand that, read this. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse seven. So of thy people was accepted, both the salvation of the righteous, so the salvation of the righteous, come on, and the destruction of the enemy. You see that, Vaughn? With our salvation, it's going to come their destruction. Give me Zechariah chapter 8, verse 13, real quick. You got to understand, for God's kingdom to rise, this nation must fall. And what we are here for is to show our people, right, the destruction that's coming because nuclear fire is coming to this planet. And we are here to warn our people to escape that destruction. Watch this, read. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 13. And it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen. So he went over the curses, right? Va, 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 right here. He went over the curses, right, of Deuteronomy, all right, the 28th chapter, going into slavery with ships. And not, and not knowing your identity and stuff like that and getting a false name on you. The Bible says what? Read it again. And, it's, and it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen. So we are a curse amongst these other nations, all right? The white man, the Arab man, the East Indian man. Read. O house of Judah. And house of Judah. Read. And house of Israel. What the church teach you, all right? That God loves everybody. Right? Who, who, who the church teach you that's going to be saved? Everybody, right? Watch this. Read. O house of Judah and house of Israel. So will I save you. So who God going to save, huh? No, read it again from the top. O house of Judah and house of Israel. So will I save you. So you can't be saved unless you know your, your nationality, huh? 
You have to you have to know your nationality in order to be saved. That's the first baby step that our people got to take in order to get salvation. All right. That's repentance, knowing who you are. Read it from the top again. And it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen. All right. It, we are cursed right now among the heathen. Read. O house of Judah and O house of Israel, so will I save you. God ain't saving everybody. You understand what I'm saying? The Israelites are the only ones that's going to get delivered. You understand? 20 verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven. You know what color the angels is? They what? They, they're supposed to be white, right? You see white angels, they, get, they paint it all over the place. They paint it in the church. The angels are black. You understand? We're going to get it out the Bible. Give me Ezekiel real quick. That's what I'm trying to show you, Vine. You think that the angels, those mighty powerful beings, are white. We're here to show you that the, the power that's in you. We're going to read what the angels look like. Come on. Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 5. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. The four living creatures. This is Ezekiel, right? The prophet Ezekiel. He's seeing angels, a vision of angels. Come on. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man, and every one had four faces, and every one had four wings. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. They what? And, the, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. So you ever seen a band play? You, you ever heard of the, do you know what the brass section is, right? You ever watch a band? What color is brass? Exactly, exactly. Br brass is brown. So what color are the angels? Exactly, all right? So now go back to Re Re Revela Revelation chapter 20, verse 1. Read. Revelation 20, verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven. So we know that that angel is black. We're about to give you the vision, you know what I'm saying, because our people are in darkness. Read. Having the key of the bottomless pit. So he had a key to the bottomless pit. Read. And a great chain in his hand. He had a what? A great chain in his hand. So what you use a chain for? Keep something in a particular place, right? Read. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. You gotta understand, these other nations going into slavery. All right. Jump up to uh, chapter 13, verse 10. All right? Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. This ain't happened yet, right? But we're here to help you get that benefit of ruling the nations. Watch this, read. Revelation 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. Stop. Who led the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Haitians, Native American Indians into slavery? White people, right? Read. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the Bible says he that leaded in captivity, they going into captivity because guess what? Our brothers, the angels are in the heavens waiting on you. They waiting on our people to repent. You understand what I'm saying? To keep God's commandments. It's already a fixed fight, Vaughn. Read. He that killeth with the sword. Do not they kill us with the sword even to this day? With guns. The new, the new sword is the pistol. What happened to Mike Brown over in St. Louis? You understand what I'm saying? Eric Garner. You understand? Look at the, what happened to the brother down in Mississippi. What was his name? Uh, Carter. Rasheen Carter. They chopped his head out, opened his head up, took his brain out, and took his spine out his body. You understand that? So they do, to, the, to this day, kill us with the sword. Read. He that killed it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So this is, my, this is a million dollar question, Vine. Do you want servants? Do you want slaves? I knew you was going to say that. I knew you was going to say that. Listen, fine. That's why we're here. We got to, give me, uh, just start with Exodus, right? Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. We think that these other nations are better than us. That's why you say you don't want servants. But it's your, that's their God-given place to serve you. You got to understand that? We're going to read what God said about the Egyptians. Come on, read this. The book of Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. Read 10, but, last verse. Exodus chapter 10, verse 28. And Pharaoh said unto him. This is what Pharaoh said to Moses. Read. Get thee from me. He told Moses, he told Moses to get thee from me. Come on. Take heed to thyself. Now, you know, Pharaoh was a king. You understand that? He was a king over the most powerful nation on earth at the time. He told Moses, a man of God, 
your forefather to get thee from me. Come on. See my face no more. He said, don't come in my face no more. Get out my face. That's what he told him. Read. For in that day thou seest my face, thou shalt die. That's a threat. Moses gave, no, Pharaoh gave Moses a death threat. He said, if I see you again, it's like that for you. You understand that? Give me 11 verse 7. Read this. Exodus chapter 11 verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel. You see that? The Bible said, God is saying what? Against any of the children of Israel. Read. Shall not a dog move his tongue. He called Pharaoh a dog. You understand that? So you got to start looking at these other nations as they are beneath you. That's right. You understand that? Our people don't know the Bible. You understand? We don't know that we the greatest nation on earth. These other nations ain't supposed to be speaking against us. Read. Against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. God put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. We not African. You understand? We better than them. That's right. All right? Give me that in uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. I'm doing these things. I'm going to these scriptures to build you up, to understand what your rightful place is on earth. You understand what I'm saying? Because you should want servants. You understand? Why? Because God said it's righteous to do that thing. Watch this. Read. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations. The Bible says what? All nations before him are as nothing. You see that? The Bible says all nations before God are as nothing. You understand? Read. And they are counted to him less than nothing. So it ain't just the Egyptians. This is the so-called white man whose biblical name is Esau. It's the Arabs that our people want to follow after. The East Indian men, you understand that? He said they are nothing. Come on. And they are counted to him less than nothing. They even worse than nothing. They are less than nothing. So these other nations ain't nothing according to God. So how do we look at those nations? Like they, we look, when we see those other nations, we see future slaves. You understand that? So you got to renew your mind. Give me Romans chapter 12, verse 2 real quick. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. You only go get this under the proper understanding from the Israelites. All right. the, the Christian churches will never teach you these things. They will never go to these scriptures. Read right. Romans 12 verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So the only thing that's going to renew your mind is the Bible. You understand that? People that's keeping the commandments that's going to give you the proper understanding of the scriptures.